This past week, members of the Women in Politics course, along with the Political Science and Women, Gender, and Sexuality Studies departments, have hosted a collection of educational events throughout campus. Breeze TV reporter David Ramirez is in studio with two of the event organizers who are using their creativity to engage the JAMU community. Thanks so much, Anna. I'm joined now by Samantha Krause and RJ Mason. Ladies, thank you so much hey, for being with us, us today. Yeah, All right, so first off, these events kind of mostly consisted of coffee talks and a film series. Yeah. Um, why those two kinds of events? We felt that it was the greatest way to try to get uh, community engagement in, to try to get more dialogue between people. Uh, we wanted to make sure that each of the resources that we had available were able to talk to individual students and then be able to answer individual questions, not just have a group of people uh, that aren't able to really get specific. It's also a reminder that feminism can be fun yeah. and coffee and movies. I mean, what yeah. else could you ask for? Bates good, it's always yeah. great. And yeah. you guys didn't just like screen the movies. You had even some of the directors of the films yeah. come and have a panel. Can you tell me a, bit, a little bit about how you were able to, to get that? For sure, yeah. Uh, no Choice uh, was the one where we had the director come in. It was a documentary featuring uh, different clips of women who had had abortions uh, and talking about the importance of being pro-choice. Um, so we had the director from there, and we also had a representative from the Blue Ridge Abortion Fund, which was great. And that was mainly Dr. Wiley's doing, actually. She managed to reach out to them and get them to come by. The director actually lives in Stanton, so she was local. So, yeah. Well, some of these issues, too, that um, we're fo these events were focusing on, mm -hmm. intersectionality, women yeah. in politics, entertainment, the military, sexual and reproductive health, mm -hmm. there's stigma around topics like that. How sure. do you engage in those conversations and remove that stigma? Um, it's uncomfortable at first, uh, things with stigmas around them in our society always are. Um, but like I said, opening up the dialogue made it easier, uh, especially after the movies. We had pizza, so we had a lot of the kids coming down to the front to actually talk to the directors. We had little groups forming, um, the director and the representative. We even had people from the Collins Center, which is a local survivor advocacy network here in Harrisonburg. Uh, they would just kind of make their way around the room, uh, so really open it up for them. And especially on a college campus. I mean, there are so many different viewpoints and walks of life that then congregate here on a campus yeah. and we're all together and um, how do you foster when there's so many different viewpoints how do you foster just a productive conversation um, I think the biggest thing is just being open to different mm -hmm. viewpoints um, we talked a lot about intersectionality and that's just the idea that um, it's not just the idea but the idea that people come from different backgrounds and have different characteristics and um, if you're going to be intersectional, you have to realize that you can't just shut out certain viewpoints. And um, I think co just going in with an open mind mm -hmm. and um, not pushing your view, but instead learning about others is yeah. key. Oh, well, thank, you so, yeah. thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it and yeah. all the work that you guys do.